Hello. Welcome to Card Minds. Thank you for stopping by. This is going to be a Leo weekly money and career reading from April 11th to April 17th. Let's see, Leo, what energies are coming in this week. What is pushing us forward? What decisions are we making? What's our mood? What are our endeavors? All right, Leo, here we go. Ooh, wands, wands, wands. King of wands. Leo, you are right there building. Um, heavy on your shoulders, whatever it is. Something's weighing heavy on uh, pressure or stress, stress in the job, stress in your profession. Something, ooh, something is stressful, Leo. But you have the king of wands, so that's you. Being bold, ah, yes, being bold because you're starting something new, Leo. You're on a new path, you're on a new energy, and this is the moment to believe in yourself, to trust yourself, to trust these new energies. Getting out of this ten of this ten of wands, getting out of this, um. Thing that is weighing on your shoulders. It's something that you maybe have been waiting for. It's a new path. It's a new career. Ten of Wands, the end of the cycle, the end of a cycle of something that was very stressful. Lots of responsibilities, lots of decisions um, in this past cycle. It is a past cycle since it's a 10 and you have the full starting new, brand new adventure. Let's see what this new adventure is bringing. It's a bold choice, Leo. It's a bold choice you're making here. King of Wands is someone... Uh, very, uh, yes, very creative, very bold, uh, someone, a builder, someone that likes to start new projects, new businesses, open up a bit, open up a business, open up. A, oh, these are too many cards here. Too many cards. I'm going to take this one. There you go. Ace of Wands. There's your new beginning. There is your new beginning. New beginning of building. Creation, inspiration. This is something extremely inspiring for you, Leo, this week. I have these. Okay, I guess I'm taking them. I keep having these. A lot of cards coming out, but they're absolutely beautiful cards. All right, here we go. Uh, it, yes, you have a certain understanding now, Leo, of this new path. I think that before with this Ten of Wands... Um, you didn't really have a uh, clarity or didn't know exactly what it looked like, where you were going or how you were going to make it happen. I think you understood that it was time for this new adventure, that it is a new career or a new business or a new project. Take it as it resonates. Ace of Wands, right? It's bold. It's new. And it is, um, it is a, a, a creation a new dynamic, action forward, right? Action forward in this new business. And if it's not a new business, it's you're creating something. And um, it's very intuitive, Leo. It's something you've thought out. It's something you have been wanting to do. And your gut feeling, it's something that you knew, you know it's for you. You know it's time. You know it's the beginning of this new dynamic. And, and, and you understand how to make it work. And you understand that it's time to do it. That is what the Empress is all about. She's about creation. Uh, um, also about emotion. Um, something very emotional. Connecting emotionally can be something artistic. Can be something uh, helping others, guiding others, being there for others, social justice. Uh, but it can also be really putting your art out there, right? It doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be, but it can be. Um, it, it it can be um, 
all about that creative project that you've been wanting to start forever. Now, now it's happening. But she's really about the intelligence of understanding, the intelligence of clarity, awareness, awareness in how it's done, awareness in your path, awareness and how to get there and, and really clarity on what it's all about. That's absolutely wonderful. She, she really incarnates that, that beautiful, um, emotional period of growth which all you have planted before, whatever you imagined, whatever you were dreaming of, or whatever you were manifesting and really wanted to make happen, it is this moment of growth coming to fruition, taking that moment to reflect on everything, on how this is happening, how you have thought this out thoroughly to make it happen. And now you can start and continue building on these beautiful energies of creation even more in your life, right? Building and creating even more, sort of opening up the gate of your creativity, opening up your path, opening up your, um, your possibilities to um, connect with bigger, connect with different, and you're letting yourself uh, letting yourself, authorizing yourself, right? To be free, creatively free, uh, free in building your own business, free in finding your own path, doing your thing. And it's allowing yourself the time and space to enter that different frame of mind, to enter um, the energies uh, of growth, these new energies of growth. It is a different time. It is a different path. And your dynamic is completely different. You have switched to this new um, way of working and planting and growing these new ideas, new creation, new business, new job taken as it resonates. But, and you have the six of pentacles, Four of Wands, it is a milestone. It's a big thing, Leo. This is something that you're celebrating. It is something that you have wanted to do. And are you're really building this from the scratch. It is your idea, your thing. And this is something um, about generosity. So as I said with the Empress, it's emotional and it's also the clarity, the intellectual clarity of understanding how to get there, understanding who we are, right? In this new, um, in, in this newfound energy and this moment of reflection of everything that surrounds you, offering gratitude for everything you have created up to now and really a a true understanding of what is coming in and how to get there. It's awareness, right? Grounding yourself in these new energies. And uh, Six of Pentacles is that generosity, your generosity, the generosity around you, the generosity of the people surrounding you. That, that equal give and take of this project. So it can be helping others, believing in others, guiding others, being there for others, helping others financially or others helping you financially, really being there for others, right? And so that is um, a purpose you have on this path and you're celebrating this. And this is really bringing you harmony and joy in, in this new energy, right? This growth you're having in this new adventure, in this new project business. It's a real, you're growing into a different person, a different style, a different way. And then you have the 10 of cups, which is uh, that strong, really strong sense of fulfillment in this job, in this project, right? Allowing 
you to align yourself with your values and your lifestyle. So maybe this is something that you thoroughly um, wished for, right? That you have been guided and really just have pushed into a different direction to be able to express yourself and have a real strong sense of for, for fulfillment and alignment with what you believe in, your values, your belief system, right? And this is that six of pentacles, that generosity all around. It's a beautiful reading, Leo. Let's see. Yes, there you're ready. This is time, three of three of wands, preparing for the future, planning for the future, organizing yourself to march forward on this new direction. It's that opportunity outside of your preceding career, outside of your realm. It is different. You are pushing the envelope, Leo. You're going on to different paths, but you're ready for that, opening yourself up to the world. A lot of these readings are about uh, changing paths and then really discovering different people and different vibes, doing something completely different. I like that. Wow. Wow, Leo. Okay, I am taking these. Um, all right, I'm going to put the uh, four of pentacles here. You have saved your money. You have kept your finances in line. Um, I think that this, these four, this four of pentacles has come up, I think, in every single reading so far. Um, yes, it's about ma managing your finances and, you know, really being mindful of your budget and your finances. Uh, but it's also about being in control, being in control of the situation, being in control of your direction on how you're going to do it, really, really needing and wanting to be in control of the situation and how you're going to make it happen. But also sort of keeping it to yourself. This is not something you are, are communicating a lot about. Maybe you're not sharing it too much. This is your adventure, your path, and you're, you're, you're okay all up in your control to make it happen, right? And, and you're, you're not expressing yourself completely on it to others yet. I don't know. That's the way I feel. The four of pentacles for me is really keeping in your own, keeping your, keeping it for yourself, right? Doesn't have to be, doesn't have to be, but it's, it's really being in control of what's happening and being aware and understanding that you want it the way you want it. And that's how you're going to build it, whatever it is for you comment down below let me know what your project is what it is what what this fool and this ace of wands all is all about because look at this these cards have come out as well and the strength leo there you are and this is one two two major arcana with one ace the strength knowing that you know it's not easy. You know it's not an easy path. You know this is something that you have well thought out, but it's not easy. Challenges along the way, decisions along the way, stop and go, stop and go. Sometimes it has, sometimes it moves forward and then all of a sudden there's a stop. You know, you have to think, figure things out. That's probably why you have the Ten of Wands, right? Ending that cycle, going into growth, but but it is still challenging. It's always challenging to start a business. It's always challenging to believe in oneself in a project and starting from scratch. I think you're starting something com completely different. And this week is about, it's, this is it. This is it. We're doing this. We're doing this. And it's you uh, uh, having clarity and understanding how it's going to happen, how you are going to make it happen. You know exactly how to plan this out and how to push it forward. And here we go. Wheel of Fortune and the Lovers. Doesn't get better than that. So having the stamina and the determination to make this happen no matter what. You don't have the chariot, but you could have the chariot, quite honestly. But the strength is about 
putting yourself forward no matter what, believing in yourself no matter what, no matter what the situation is, you know you're on the right track. You know this is for you. You know you're going to make it happen. There are no ifs, ands, or buts. You have the strength and you have that spirit, that ability to overcome the obstacles. You're pushing forward. Push forward, Leo. This is your card, right? And you have that persistence to make it happen all while, all while being patient, um, being balanced, and really being committed in um, growing into this new adventure in a very mindful way, a very uh, mature way, keeping your composure. If there are difficulties going on, right? If there are stressful moments and obstacles and things that are not going your way or not going fast enough, you're not getting the answers, you just know that you know, just just remain calm, remain calm and remain committed to your project the way you want it, building it the way you want it, right? You're still in control. You're just reaching that higher awareness, which I was talking about a little early on, that awareness that the, the empress, that higher awareness of learning to express those raw emotions, express these desires, right? How you're going to make it happen and being very clear on your actions and very clear on the way you're going to make it happen. And because of that, is this not fear oriented or ego oriented or, or, um, or even um, status oriented, right? It is all about you pushing forward your values, your true core values, in this project. I don't know what it is. Let me know what it is, right? But you are able to express your emotions and your desires very constructively in a very pragmatic way. In other words, it's not emotional. And there might be emotions evolved, yes, because you have the lovers. But it's about really being constructive constructive criticism and awareness of exactly what it takes to make this happen and not being in la la land right and not having these dreams and waiting for dreams and thinking everything's going to happen because you dream of it and you think of it so hard and that's you know that's what you deserve no no and I always say and I, I know I repeat myself sometimes that we don't have the magician here we don't have the manifestation because I think it's something that you have been working on and building on for a while. This is not something overnight. This is something that you have well thought out and well planned financially, um, logistically. These, this is a, an adventure of a lifetime almost. Look at all these major arcana. One, two, three, four, um, five. And this with the ace and the four of wands, celebrating, celebrating this milestone, celebrating with your family, celebrating with the people you work with, whatever the situation is, this is a true adventure you're celebrating, right? And you have in this process of making this happen, apologies for the sirens, there's nothing I can do about it. Um, in this process, in this growth, of this, your discovery of yourself, the discovery of your energies and your powers, you are really able, uh, you have discovered that, you know, how to channel your powers, how to channel who you are, how to channel your values and your, you, your beliefs and your desires, what you want to put forward. And that is a complete new ball game because it's, it's giving you that power of awareness where you're not going to just dream and wait and wishing for and you know wanting that to come quickly because that's what you want no you're very realistic this is a true true realistic approach to your professional life I like this and then aligning yourself with your core values and that is that that is that um real core subject of this reading, right? Being authentic with yourself, being genuine with your personality, very clear on your choices, very clear on your values and your belief system and, 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 and very clear in articulating how it's going to be done. In and you know what you need to make it happen. 
and you know what you stand for now. And it's just such a major, major shift in being in touch with your emotions and the harmony of your, your feelings and, and your heart. You know, you're open up to the world. You're open up to others. You're open up to your emotions and the emotions of others without any reservation. You're just really, really out there, putting yourself out there. And um, you have a beautiful personality. And and you, this this situation here, this growth, this what this new path you're getting into is uh, really you figuring out what you stand for, your philosophy, your way, and what you're bringing to the table, where you situation situate yourself in this life path, and establishing what is essential for you out in the world. It's a really, really beautiful reading. Um, it, it, aligning yourself with your thoughts, aligning yourself with who you believe you are and wanting to identify that in the outside world, in your professional world, if you understand what I'm saying. All right, let's see if there's, it's, it's very, it's a, it's a, a profound um, um, peaceful moment of you discovering your awareness of your surroundings and of who you, who you are and really, really now being able to articulate your core values and who you are, expressing yourself for who you are and identifying that project, that job, that situation, that um, opportunity, that business, take it as it resonates, that really belongs to you. That, you, that fills you, but also uh, belongs to your uh, belief system. In other words, able, you are able or going to be able to channel what you truly believe in, in this project, in this job, in this business, in this opportunity, take it as it resonates on this journey. It's also a very spiritual journey. All right, let's see if there's one last message so many major arcana but pushing forward and so positive i didn't even talk about the wheel of fortune the wheel of fortune is is action forward whatever it is that was stuck whatever it is that you were thinking out um trying to organize trying to make happen that was you know it doesn't have to be completely stuck but it's something that was sort of stop and go stop and go tr still trying to figure out your way still trying to figure out the logistics the answers or money situations or, or people or connections networking whatever it is now it's moving forward and it's moving forward because you're positive it's moving forward because you have your ideas you have amazing ideas and you're 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 putting positive energies out there and pushing this forward in such an amazing way enthusiasm inspiration excitement is pushing you forward and connecting with other people your inspiration and your positivity is making you connect with a whole new network of people that is now opening up and pushing this um this project job business take it as it resonates forward and because of your positivity it is um getting better and better and better and that is when that good karma comes in your good karma goes out good karma comes in and then that is when you start seeing the synchronicities, the law of attraction, the manifestation, right? Because you believe in yourself and you truly, truly identify, become, become what you're putting out there. You become your positive actions. You become that philosophy. You become that job. You become what you're building, what you're growing. And when you become, when you are what you're putting out there, there's no separation. You are what you're building. You're building who you are. Um, there's no filter. And that is when the wheel of fortune kicks in. That authentically um, identifying what, identif not identifying, um, identic, being identic, right? 
And because life is a constant change, this is getting better and better. And because you're so optimistic and so connected, profoundly connected with what you're making, what you're doing, then that's when the universe kicks in, right? Positive energies and expanding life, expanding your ideas, expanding your creations. And that puts you automatically in a positive direction, opening up to the help of others, opening up to factors outside of your realm, outside of your usual environment, opening up to different. And then that's when you find stability, right? When you accept what's happening, when you accept these new energies coming in, when you accept new, when you accept different, that's when it kicks in forward because things are available that you probably didn't think of, right? And, and it's just surprises, surprises after surprises. All right, Leo, let's see if there's one last message for the road. I feel like this is, yes, look at this. Absolutely amazing. Six of Wands. Uh, these messages in this reading are very philosophical. It is about growing your garden, growing your awareness, and being in touch with your with who you are, with your core beliefs. I know I repeat myself a lot, but this is a true, true reading about awareness, opening up to who you are, and uh, being so, so genuinely um, honest that and open to others uh, that now uh, that positivity is just pouring in actually amazing opportunities because you're so honest with your thoughts, with your emotions, and with what you believe in. Six of Wands leading the way. You trust yourself. You are confident. People like your approach. People know you're talented. People, uh, people appreciate who you are. People appreciate what you bring to the table and really, really are celebrating your way of working, celebrating what you're bringing together right now, celebrating what you're building. Bravo to you, Leo. This is an absolutely amazing reading coming into yourself, right? Coming into your philosophy, your beliefs, and really, really that parallel moment where um, you are joining together with yourself, right? Your, what you are is what you're putting out there. And what you're putting out there is who you are. There's no difference. Wow. Very, very... Uh, profound Leo. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Um, thank you so much for watching. Thank you to each and every one of you for championing this channel all the way over 10k. So now we have to hit 15. <laughs> um, but uh, thank you, Leos. You have been uh, top signs, one of the top signs to champion this channel. So thank you again. I am very grateful for all of you. If it's the first time you are listening to any of my readings, thank you and welcome, welcome. Uh, I read money and career weekly readings every weekend. I post them every weekend for the following week. If you're interested, come around every weekend and Leo is usually uh, in the top signs read. I try to rotate signs because I can't do all 12 signs, but there are about five or six signs that are always, always up. So Leo is part of them. So if you want to come around next weekend for another uh, weekly reading and you're inspired and you connect with it, please leave a comment down below and do not forget to subscribe and hit the bell. That's very important, especially if you come around often to um, listen to these readings. And if you already subscribed, thank you, thank you. Thank you. You have helped a lot and you help a lot. Thank you. Take care, Leos. Bye-bye.